Why am I flying through the air? What the hell happened to me? Uh, uh, what? Oh, uh, <laughs> what the hell just happened to my game? <laughs> what just happened? What? All right, so we have a new set of coordinates. Now, a lot of you guys wanted to see this, I guess, quote-unquote mod of all the shipwrecks that are around and the custom map, really, uh, to see what exactly happens and how the storyline progresses through this. So I'm going to play this for a little bit and just see where I get. Now, for me to get to some of these base locations, it's going to be a little bit weird, and I have to actually try and conquer a lot of things. Now, I'm handed a lot of cool stuff, too, like my very own CMO... Oh, whoa, whoa, my screen just went black. That was weird. Okay, we're good. Uh, like my very own Seamoth, and we also have a Cyclops. The Cyclops right now I don't think is powered, and it's also heavily damaged right now. Hang on, external hull damage detected, but we have interior damage right here, yeah. So I think we actually have to fix the insides of the... This is actually something we haven't had to do in a long time, unless maybe it won't even work. Because I see these, this damage used to happen on the inside. Yeah, but that's really, that's really bizarre. Actually, oh God, I'm losing oxygen. Oh God, I'm losing oxygen. No, 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 no. Oh God, I didn't have any power cells at all. Unless they're in my inventory. Maybe they're in my inventory. Hang on. Can I repair this from this angle? No, I can't. All the damage is inside the Cyclops. And there's nothing I can do to fix that. Because it doesn't let me close enough to the wall. It's like there's an invisible sheen there. Repair tool does not work there. Do I have any power cells inside this thing that I could possibly use? Or do they not give you those too? Wow, we really have no power cells to power this thing up. And even so, all the damage is on the inside. How? This is so weird. Oh, well, guys, on the topic of submarines, by the way, welcome back to Subnautica. On the topic of submarines and broken things and things not working, this actually ties in really well because I have news on the Atlas Submarine. Now you guys know the Atlas Submarine, it's a very ambitious mod project that was being worked on by a mod creator known as Minder. I think Tanguy was the name in my emails. Um, because you guys know I have some history with Tan Guy and some stuff that happened that went down, but we're friends now. It's it's all good, like he's a really cool guy. Got to know him a little bit and uh I don't know. It's I, I, I hate actually having to deliver this news because it's kind of making me sad. Why do we have three repair tools, two scanners, two habit? Why do I have doubles of these? Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and make up this titanium because I'm gonna need some extra titanium. I don't have any power cells, which kind of sucks. But yeah, I, I hate having to deliver this news because it's really crappy news. Um, but I mean, there is a chance. I guess there is always a chance with anything, so don't lose hope too much. And also, I want to point out things look a little bit different now. In Subnautica, at least in this save, I don't know if it's using a different technology or maybe they updated the game to add more of a like a, a underwater glow. I guess there's like a motion blur and stuff, which I didn't notice before. I don't know. Things look a lot more solid though, in my opinion. Maybe it's my options actually. I might have had something enable that isn't bloom and lens motion blur intensity i'm gonna leave that stuff on you guys let me know if you want me to leave it enabled in the uh comment section of the video because i know you guys want me to leave this awesome color mod that makes makes everything a little bit more vibrant people can notice it which is kind of cool but anyways the atlas submarine like i was saying very ambitious project and unfortunately well we're at a point where it is no longer being worked on and it may never come to Subnautica, and I have some proof to back it up. So we're going to move into that real quick, and then we will continue from there, guys. So I emailed Tan Guy a while ago, and I was curious about the Atlas submarine and how the project was going, because a lot of stuff had happened before, and I I felt kind of bad, I guess. And I want to let the guy know I, you know, I have his back with this mod, and I, I appreciate that someone's trying to do something for such a cool game. I, I appreciate that. Um, it was also something I was really interested in because the, the Atlas submarine was like a giant version of the Cyclops And you guys know just how big the Cyclops is. I mean, we're looking at it right now and it is freaking Gigant Ooh, I found a hull breach that I can repair maybe yes. Hell yeah, so I can repair this one 
But yeah, it was a submarine that I really like seeing, and it looked so good. We've seen so much about this submarine from other content creators, and on top of that, we've seen a lot of stuff from it, even on this channel, and speaking to, uh, to Minder. But unfortunately, he's been so busy with schoolwork and working a real-life job that he told me officially that the, the project was stopped. Uh, and it's going to be about a year or so, actually, before he continues anything with it because he's been so busy with things. Um, on top of that, I need oxygen. But on top of that, I also was looking down through the Unreal forms to see what the moderators and the admins of the game had to say, the developers. And this is what they had to say. Now, I do have definitive proof that the Subnautica developers actually will not accept the model of the Atlas submarine. Now, that's not to say they won't change their mind or there is no hope at all to see this thing in the game. Even as a mod, it would still be really cool to see. So just because the developers don't want to accept it into the actual game, it doesn't mean it won't actually make it into the game. Now, Obraxis, one of the developers of Subnautica, actually commented on the submarine and if it will be brought to the game, and they said they will not be accepting the Atlas. They won't be accepting the model. While it looks good when rendered, we have certain requirements that it doesn't meet, which I don't know the requirements, which is why I'm not going to go into that. If you do, however, because I'm sure there are people here that are very talented in modeling and design on stuff, well then I'm sure they will be able to shed some light to all of you as to why the Subnautica developers would not uh, accept this creation. And even more so, maybe a Subnautica developer themselves might comment on this video if they ever see it. And if they do, well, uh, well, I guess if you do and you're Subnautica dev, give me a DM in Discord, I'll pin your comment, and it will be seen by everyone, I guess, in the comment section and stuff. Um, if we ever want the Atlas design from our concept art made, we'll make the model ourselves in order to meet specific requirements for the game. Now, the only assumption I can make from this is that they have a certain count of angles or some kind of special criteria of textures, maybe, or something. I'm not sure how it actually works with them. Regardless, though, I, I mean, I can understand, I guess, that they would have to have their own specific requirements. I have 133... What the... What? This thing has 133% health? I couldn't even see. I saw it when I was getting into this thing, too, in the docking bay. That is weird. 133... Did they nerf the Seamoth to make it have less health? Is that a thing? Yeah, look at that. 119% health. How the hell does the Seamoth get that much more health? That's kind of weird. Maybe it's just because it's an old version of the game. So, fabricate... Or what? I can't. What? I can't. Uh... I can't. Let me just try see if this will work now. Hang on. Doesn't work. I gotta. Maybe I gotta completely destroy this. Attach components. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. All right. It's giving me all the stuff now. All right. Let me see. Can I make this now? No, I can't. Where are my blueprints? Oh no! I can't modify the CMOT to go down there. That's a big problem. Oh, that sucks. Let me see if I have some power cells laying around. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Oh, wow. They actually have... Yes! Okay. They actually have voice lines for those PDA entries. That's actually really cool. I like that. It feels like a very... So that's a female. That's a female survivor that we have. I'm not assuming genders, I swear. So then we have two cells ready to go inside the Cyclops. We are at full health. We need to go see if the female survivor is there. Now, that distress signal could be ancient for all I know. Let me just see if I can find it. Do I have it? Did that come up in my inventory? No, I would have came up in my... Uh, thingy right away hang on let me just see uh no it's not there either that's actually kind of disappointing mm, life pod two life pod six crew require assistance navigate radiation all right i gotta get through the radiation field that's here actually to get to these guys i bet the atlas submarine would have no trouble dealing with radiation any of you that have knowledge about Subnautica and how they do their modeling definitely fill me in on what the deal is with them not being able to accept the model because I mean to me and to everyone else looking at it it looks great it looks like it's normal and, and should be working but I don't care about short range scans go go away but I mean I some kind of technical requirement I don't know how it works I really don't I'm not gonna act like I know anything about it uh let's see this is where the female crew member was what is this lead 
Got some flares in there that I can't take. PDA log. Life pod six, crew log number two. Anything else? Nothing. All right, so we'll go back into our submarine. So they're definitely dead. I'm pretty sure everything is dead. I saw something behind me. Let me just see this crew log real quick. So this is life pod six, crew log number two. We just heard one of their survivors. I shouldn't have let her leave me here. It's getting dark. She's probably gone to the rendezvous site on her own or drowned trying. So I have to do something. I'm going to send up a flare. Then you hear the flare being lit. And then it opening the hatch. Crew, what are you doing? Passengers, sending up a flare. What are, where have you been? Crew, it's not a distress a flare. Stop waving around like that. You'll catch the... <laughs> oh! Oh, she blew them off. That's what happened to that life pod. That's why the thing blew up. That is so sad. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the power grid. That is so sad. What the hell was it then? That is so excessively sad. No. Oh, I'm kind of upset about that. All right. Well, I guess we'll start moving out to this one over right here. I mean, thinking about it, looking at this environment and the Atlas submarine and how big the Atlas submarine is, the Atlas submarine can hold a Cyclops in it. It would be too big for this environment. That would be massive. That would be too massive, actually, to be honest with you. I could go inside there and explore this. I don't think I want to. I want to see if there's any more bases around here. Why am I flying through the air? What the hell happened to me? What's going on? Exit! 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 Leave the submarine! What the f- What's happening? Why did this just happen? Uh... Oh, uh, what? Oh... Uh, <laughs> what the hell just happened to my game? <laughs> what just happened? Why is that a thing? What- this shit just happened is that is that my my thingy no it's not the mod that shows the, dude it just completely shit the bed this is a catastrophic failure look at this what the hell i'm gonna try that again my god i've never i've never had that happen all right super weird but we're back now i don't know what the hell happened or why things just derped out let me just take a look around real quick because I have to get prepared. I want to go out to... I don't... Where the hell is my life pod? The thing's constantly on my screen. My life pod's all the way over there. Dude, that is so far away. <sighs> all right. I'm going to go there first. Take some of this. And I'm going to take it all because I'm going right to a base that I know of. So let's just head out there real quick. See the storyline of what happened with the base down here. It looks like we have a little base down here. That's in some trouble. Now, I don't have the oxygen to do this. I'm going to have to try and find a entrance. All right, so I've got a plan. I've got a base down right here. I don't know if this is going to make me move faster or not, but I'm going to hope it does. Uh, it's going to keep going down. I don't think it actually makes me move any faster than one. I oh, wait. Yeah, it definitely does. I can see it changing the speed. Keep going down. There's the entrance right there. Come on. Come on. Just got to get in here. Oh, all right. Anything around here? Hello. Hi. Uh, standard tank. All right. So we have oxygen now. Oh, sh okay. It doesn't have any air. It doesn't have... Okay. We're going up. Going up. Going up. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, my God. We're drowning. We're drowning. We're drowning. Oh, we're so close to the surface. Don't let me die. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, so close. All right, we have the tank anyways, so we should be able to go down there now. Damn it, it didn't have any freaking air in it. Who the hell puts a tank back into a locker without any air? What a douchebag. What a douchebag does that? All right, let's try and make our way again. You got it, bud. You're okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go down here again. We don't have any... <laughs> we have like 1% left in that thing. It kind of sucks. I should have made some fins to get down here faster. But now that we have some more oxygen, I can actually see what the deal is with this base. And it seems to go down into a fissure down there. So I can repair some of this. 
I should be set. I'm going to throw a light source right there. Now, I do have a repair tool that I can use to repair some of this stuff, but draining systems won't engage. But even though they engage, it won't actually do anything for this structure. Now, the locker with supplies, nothing in that. I have to dip out again. This is going to be a really painful process, so give me a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I actually took some time and I went back and I got some fins, which was pretty easy to get. So now that I have my fins, I can actually effectively explore inside this place. Let's take my tool out real quick. Now, I should be able to fix some of this stuff right here. It doesn't have any power either. Zero out of zero power, though. It doesn't even have like a cap on power, which kind of concerns me, actually. Now, this all leads into here, too. I have to repair all of this stuff. Oh, it's going to be a futile attempt. All right, so now that I've managed to repair the majority of the damage there, it's actually draining now, and I should be okay to go in there. I don't think it's going to provide oxygen yet, which kind of sucks, but I could probably power this place up too. Yeah, I'm still going to lose oxygen, I think. Or am I? Nope, it's going to be still going down, which kind of sucks. Now, if I could provide power to this place, I'd be set. But I don't... Nope, I'm going to repair some of that. All right, if I could... How can I do that? I actually have a hole right here too I need to fix, so... I need to actually reinforce some of this stuff. Yeah, I do have med kits here, however, that I can take, so that's okay. There's nothing else in that locker. Fabricator's okay. I gotta go again? Alright, so we have part of this currently saved. That's good. The top section, we need to reinforce it, and then we need to get down to the bottom layers, and eventually we will have an entire base pre-made that we just had to repair and we can live inside there that'll be our starting point but guys that is it for this video i think i'm gonna end it right here by saving so let me know if you want me to continue with this series and the secondary storyline to get to the ending of the game um there's a bunch of these bases i, I think there's a I thought i heard something i think there's a submarine down that way somewhere that i have to go to as well that was sunk I'm going to figure that out. You let me know what you think. I want to know what you think about the Atlas 2. And if you have any information about mod development or why the Subnautica devs would not accept the model, well, that would be greatly appreciated. But guys, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. And I will see you in the next video. are hazy. It hasn't helped these hours of pacing.